a while ago, multiple months, I did some research on Call of Duty and what sort of perk systems that their fan base liked the most. And a lot of people seem to really like the ghost system <clears throat> from Call of Duty Ghosts that had like 30 perks and each one had a different cost to it and so you had really good perks that cost a lot and you had perks that weren't as good but they cost less so you could have multiple of them. Another thing that people liked about perk systems in Call of Duty that they don't it doesn't have anymore is a pro system where you had a little goal that you could complete and then you'd have the pro version of that perk. And so I took the time to make that. Make the ghost the uh, perk system from Ghosts and make the uh, the pro perks from uh, every Call of Duty game before Call of Duty Ghosts. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. That's two, two, and two. So that's six in total. And then six times five equals thirty. So there's thirty perks. And then the pro versions, that's sixty in total. So there's sixty sixty perks. We got lightweight, which is just you move faster. And then after completing your little quest, it becomes weightless. Nullify fall damage and then reduce negative loadout weight effects. In my game, you're going the more things you carry on your person on your loadout makes you heavier, makes you move slower, react slower, etc. So this would nullify that. And then you got Marathon Runner, which is typical for Call of Duty games where you just sprint longer. And then Infinite Warfare, you add momentum, which is you can sprint indefinitely and you sprint faster the longer that you are sprinting. We got Ready Up, reduces sprint to fire time, hip fire while sprinting. This is typically gung ho in your uh, in Black Ops 3. Hip fire, reload, and use equipment while mantling, climbing, sliding, or sprinting. That's pretty important thing to note is that you'll be able to mantle, climb, slide, besides just sprinting. Dauntless, this is something from Vanguard. Movement cannot be reduced during sprint. Bullet damage reduced during sprint, so you're actually tougher to kill while you're sprinting. And melee attacks do not interrupt your sprint. Because when you get melee, typically you enter this concussion stunned effect. And then Stalker, the most, one of the most busted perks in all of Call of Duty history. ADS movement speed is negligible. So what that means is that you can just aim down sight all the time and there is no penalty for it. Uh, if you get a 5k, <coughs> then you unlock the pro version, which is Damage briefly increased by 10% during ADS, but decreases to 0.9% over time. So you do more damage when you enter ADS, but by staying in ADS, it can become less than the normal amount of damage that you would do otherwise. It's kind of like a to encourage you to not look down ADS all the time, that there is a drawback to it, you know. Strong arm. This is an interesting one, but like not a very good one. It's from Ghosts. Um, and Flak Jacket typically got this effect where you reset lethals that are picked up. That was typically the pro version. Uh, have an arc indicator when throwing. I believe that's from Ghosts. Uh, cooking them faster, throw farther and faster. That's uh, from Ghost, I believe. That's just straight up strong arm. Multitasker. You can look down sights during sliding and wall running. 
So you can also wall run. Quickly interrupt your reload by pulling out a secondary. So ADS during slide and wall runs, this is from Infinite Warfare. The FTL rig could look down sites wall sliding. And then ambidextrous, hip fire secondary while holding or placing equipment, lethals, tactical sorceries. In case it's not obvious, this is on the pro version is on top of the normal version. So you get to aim down sight during slide and wall runs, and then you can also hit fire a secondary while holding or placing equipment, lethals, tactics, or score streaks. This is something from, I believe Vanguard introduced this, I think, <clears throat> where you'll quickly pull out your pistol if you're if you interrupt your reload by swapping to your pistol or something like that. Uh, and then we have akimbo, dual wielding. Cannot ADS and decreases hip fire accuracy. <clears throat> so Kimbo's, you know, at some point it got downgraded to an attachment on the pistol itself. Infinite Warfare had that, I believe. Um, but Black Ops Three, it was a perk, I think. Black Ops 2, it was... I can't think of it. And then power stancing, do you wield any weapons of the same type? So this is like totally busted, right? <laughs> so that's why decreased hipfire accuracy. Which I could probably move that down to the pro version, but... <clears throat> I'd have to actually play the game to see. But that just makes the Kimbo more fun, and it makes sense. That that would be like the upgraded pro version of it. Then we have parkour, climb and run briefly on walls. So here you go. If you want to run on walls, you have to have the parkour perk. I feel like that's a good way to limit the advanced 3D movement of the um, set in the future games, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, 4, etc. <coughs> Mantle slide and climb faster. And then climb and slide indefinitely. Sliding indefinitely, I believe that was also an infinite warfare thing. And then fast hands. ADS and reload faster. Swap and pick up weapons faster. I don't know if this is a good enough uh, perk to have as a last one. <clears throat> but, I mean, fast hands is just a, such a good perk. Um, so you have these all like movement and then these are like your handling perks even though parkour is um, movement related so handling and then movement and then we have our awareness perks which is perk 2 enemies do not leave behind death markers that's just straight up ghosts Enemies on kill streaks are revealed on the minimap. Ending an enemy's kill streak rewards extra score. <clears throat> uh, tracker, see clues where enemies have been. This is a returning perk that most Call of Duties have. But Hunter, it gives you the, a tactical ability to scan enemies through walls within line of sight and distance with 15 second cooldown. So this would be the Bloodhound from... Apex Legends, where if you don't have a tactical, you can use this tactical ability. Simple as that. Blind Eye prevents aerial AI controlled score streaks, and then Cold Blooded, which is all the AI controlled score streaks. You also don't show up highlighted on player controlled score streaks, and you delay triggered explosions. So, this is all about. Uh, dying to non-player related uh, stuff. Dead silence reduces footstep noise and resist heartbeat detectors. And then ninja perform and recover from finishers quicker. I wanted the pro version of dead silence to be melee related. <clears throat> because typically 
you're using dead silence to get behind people and then backstab them that kind of playstyle so I think this might be a good enough pro version but again something I'd have to play and see incognito this is from uh, call it a ghost leave no trace for tracking indicators cannot be highlighted immunity to thermal no red name or crosshair when targeted this is Uh, what does this do? This incognito, this is cold-blooded for Black Ops 3, I believe. Where it just does like a whole ton of miscellaneous things that are like quality of life. And then your position is hidden on the move. This is just ghost. Okay, so phantom is just ghost. So ghost isn't in this game. Aside from the pro version of incognito. And it's only while moving. And then so all of these are about like preventing people from hearing you. Except for tracker. So if you'll see these are movement, and then these are handling, and then these are hiding, and then these are tracking or being aware. So we'll start with recon. The minimap is bigger, shows enemy direction or minimap on minimap. The minimap being bigger is from advanced warfare. I think Vanguard also has it as forward intel. Uh, showing the enemy direction on minimap is like a massive perk. I can see everybody just running this just for the enemy direction. Uh, briefly reveal spawn enemy positions on the minimap. This is extremely helpful for you to be able to track enemy spawns so that way you don't A, put yourself into spawn and B, you know where to start running toward next. Uh, pinpoint enemies damaged by explosives are briefly tagged on minimap. So enemies you you typically run frag grenades or rocket launchers or something so that way everybody that you hit everyone can see them on the minimap for a while and then the pro version makes it so that way bullet damage also highlights them on the map if you look down sights on an enemy it will also reveal them on the map so this is a very team based perk even though you do benefit from being able to see the damaged enemies. And then Team Link. This is a Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, feature. Highlight your teammates through walls. Reveal enemies close to teammates and in their line of sight. This is this reveal is only on the minimap. If you played uh, Call of Duty 4 you know or Black Ops 4 you know that there was a fog of war in the game and so if any anyone saw an enemy they would show up on the minimap because the team link it would get bigger omniscient line of sight and radius around teammates becomes bigger relative to how many teammates equipped this perk which this part it becoming bigger with how many teammates have it equipped would normally be part of the regular perk High alert, receive a noise when an enemy's when in an enemy's line of sight, scream pulses when highlighted. Uh, the noise is infinite warfare phantom rig, and then the scream pulses when highlighted is infinite warfare's FTL rig. And then Six Sense is from Black Ops 3, and also a tactical in infinite warfare where an accurate indicator will reveal directions of nearby high velocity enemies. Uh, this will just show up on the map, I believe. And it'll just have like a red portion of the map to the left, right, or behind, or forward of where the enemies are. And if you walk around the people who have six cents, you won't uh, 
trip it. You won't throw it off. Ping, killing an enemy reveals nearby enemies. And then you're immune to jammer, CUAV, and EMP effects. That's hardwired from Black Ops 3. Pretty good. Wiretap, which is just straight up from Call of Duty Ghosts. Enemy UAVs and SATCOMs are now your UAVs and SATCOMs. Not your teams, just yours. But still really helpful, I, I would think. Jagger Pill boosts health restoration. Uh, pretty insane. I'm. This is like Modern Warfare 2, early Call of Duty. I think World of War had Juggernog as a perk. And then resist bullet damage as the pro version. The tactical mask, which is typical tactical mask, immune to gas, reduced flashbang concussion, and the pro version is just maximized. And this will be resistance against melee attacks as well, because those do stun you. So if you have tactical mask on or battle hardened, you won't be affected by melees as much. Flash shield or flak jacket, which is just straight up normal flak jacket or flak jacket pro or just as damage from explosives immunity to fire effects that's just straight up flak jacket pro scavenger which is typical scavenger resupply from bags left by dead enemies and then vulture which is the pro version of scavenger yeah extra mags and you can replenish tacticals from the bags that's also just Standard, so these three perks are just like the standard Call of Duty perks. Awareness. I don't like awareness very much, but, you know, why not? <laughs> Increase the sound of enemy footsteps and decrease the volume you hear yours and your teammates. See, this is a personal thing where I just, I hate listening to mine and my teammates' footsteps. So I think that's just quality of life thing. Uh, see enemy score streaks and equipments through walls. That seems kind of bro broken. This is just straight up a uh, hacker from Black Ops 3. I think it worked like that. Gambler. This is a Call of Duty Ghost perk. Spawn with a random tier 1 perk. Which these are tier 1s. See the, this is the loadout cost. Cost 1, cost 1, cost 1, cost 1, cost 2, 2. So you wouldn't get these. You can only get these ones, these eight, and then uh, steady aim. So you spawn with a random one instead of gambler, pretty much. The spawn perk for the pro version randomizes with every kill, and every five kills, it upgrades to the next tier. So it can be, it will be a Chucker pill, tactical mask, blast shield, hardline, you know, it could be any of these tier twos. And eventually it could even be one of these last ones if you go on a long enough streak. Moving on to steady aim, that's 30% hip fire increase, which is just like a typical <laughs> uh, sniper perk. You'll run, or like a Flinch last one hit, reduce weapons way. This is just straight up like a sniper perk that you'll run. Uh, they had something like this in Infinite Warfare where you would reduce weapons way and increase hip fire accuracy. Hardline streaks are discounted, typical. They'll cost like 100 points less, which is just normal for hardline. Two assist counts towards streak rewards, so that's just like normal. Lucky, reroll care packages. Which could be enough to just like make it the pro version, but also take an additional strike package. So that means that you'll be able to carry more streak rewards in your loadout. Uh, when making a loadout, you could take less uh, score streaks to take more attachments or more perks. Or you could take less attachments, less perks to take more score streaks. And this will help you take uh, some for free. Danger Close increases explosive damage. This is super busted. 
Uh, I can't. I don't. I don't know what Call of Duty had Danger Close in it, but it wasn't. It didn't stay around for a reason. Uh, Danger Close, and then Blast Shield. They offset each other, and then Jugger Pill or Juggernog would be offset by uh, stopping power. So explosive damage, explosive resistance, and then uh, bullet resistance, bullet damage. And then the it just seems right for the pro version to be extra grenades. Which maybe this should be two extra tactical and lethals. But again, I'd have to play it to see. Every kill adds a probability for a bullet to deal more damage which is the ghost perk, the last uh, perk in ghosts was every kill adds probability for a bullet to deal more damage. And then the pro version is uh, accurate bullets increase the probability of dealing more damage. So killing someone increases probability and hitting people increases probability. And then this one specifically resets when you have uh, when it succeeds okay and that's all my perks and all the pro versions the advice is really like flavor text but uh it should give you like an indicator of how you should play or why you should equip it keep from getting surprised by enemies from remaining vigilant if, when your position has been revealed yeah typical typical stuff uh, stalker and stopping power and wiretap and incognito are kind of like the most broken perks, but they also cost the most. So it makes sense. Anyways, I just wanted to show off the work that I had done, <laughs> the perks that I made, and uh, what the system is really for, and the the goals of why this is here. So a future me and other people can see this and appreciate it and know what it's all about.